Hello everybody and welcome to Hunt Vlog episode 4. Today we're going to be hunting on our private land and I think something's probably going to go down today. So I will see you guys when we get there. It was the, the, the deer were looking at us the entire time. They were looking at us the entire time. That sucks. Yeah, they couldn't see me. Alright everybody, so that is obviously not what you want to hear while you're out hunting in the woods. But my goal here with the hunt vlogs is to show you guys the raw footage, the good, the bad, the ugly. So hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes. So I want to go over basically what I think happened uh, that caused those deer to spook. So obviously you saw the fawn was really on edge. Uh, the, the, the mother actually wasn't really all that spooked, but the fawn definitely knew something was going on. And I don't think it was scent because the wind was blowing behind us. Uh, and I don't think it, it was uh, any movement that we made. I do think, however, the, the deer did see me because whenever you're in a blind, the background is not camouflage. And sadly, I was not wearing uh, something that would blend in with, with the blind. So in our particular uh, situation, the blind was the blind background was black. So basically, I was standing out like a sore thumb, and I think the deer managed to see me through the blind. So all in all, I suggest you guys wear black whenever you sit in a blind. I hope you guys can learn from my mistakes, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video because this is not the only mistake that was made to, um, on our hunt.
This one's bony. But I don't have a shot on it right now. There she is. 40. Good? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I might have hit just below. No, you did not hit her. You sure? Yeah. All right, everybody. As you guys can already tell, this hunt was a complete and utter disaster. From spooking deer in the beginning to completely missing the shot at the end, we just did not get it done. The only really good thing that came out of this was I was able to get into the corner of the blind and keep the deer from seeing me, so I was able to at least get the shot on film. However, that wasn't enough, and at the end of the day, we missed the deer by a couple inches and went right below the vitals. The only real thing that you can take away from this is make sure you practice with your weapon of choice. Practice out of a stand, practice out of a blind, practice sitting down, standing up, every single type of way possible you could think of. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know nothing crazy happened today, but at least there's a learning experience to be had. Please stay tuned for the next video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.